Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and what if I told you that the Toronto real estate market is back to normal because there are some really strong indicators that we are in a transition period. The market is very different now than what we have been used to the past few months. The average price is no longer increasing. If anything, it's stable or it's slightly declining. We're seeing uh, less showings on our listings and when there are bidding wars, there is very often less bids. And surprisingly, we're seeing some properties that are actually um, challenging to sell. This property here was on the market 23 days. This property was on the market 32 days. And we are actually starting to see price reductions. So what a price reduction is, is when a seller reduces their asking price in order to entice more buyers to come take a look at their property. Here is a week by week breakdown. We can see the average price was at its highest at March 31st at 1,832,000, now around $1,734,000. And again, it's relatively stable. And take a look at the months of inventory because we can see that it was one on April 14th. However, this still does mean it's a seller's market, but this could be a good sign that we are transitioning into a little bit less of a seller's market because of all the new listings coming on the market and sales not accelerating at the same rate. So the lower the months of inventory, the more advantageous it is for sellers. And conversely, the higher this measure is, the better it is for buyers. In a typical real estate cycle, there's more sales and more listings during March, April, and May. But what we've seen is that although in April there have been a increased number of new listings, there have not been as many sales. Um, as we can see here, pretty much since March 17th, the number of active listings has only increased, giving again more selection to buyers. We were at 901 active listings on March 17th. On April 14th, there was 1,230 active listings. And then the week prior to April 21st, the number of active listings again increased to 1,263. You could see there were slightly less uh, new listings that came on the market, but that was probably due to the announcement of the new lockdown here in Toronto. Uh, this is great news for buyers. Perhaps you can be a little bit more optimistic. And whereas sellers, what I would advise you to do is monitor the market closely, uh, pay attention to new listings in your area, pay attention to what's selling, because it may be such that you would have to have the conversation with your real estate agent about reducing the price in the next few weeks if you're not getting the results you expected. Let's now take a look at the average sale price for Toronto condos. As shown last year, right when the pandemic and the lockdown hit, the average price obviously decreased, but it did so significantly uh, being at $751,000 on February 10th and then reaching a low point of $611,000 on April 14th. But this year, so far, we can clearly see that the average price did increase since last year, but it's pretty much all over the place. One week it's up, one week it's low. But um, from my experience, this is not really due to the market. It's not due to a change of interest rates. It's simply because of the fact that there is this lockdown with the whole pandemic occurring again. And what so is the, a lot of the condo buildings have tougher restrictions when it comes to buyers looking at their units. So it would be my expectation that the condo prices would slightly increase once this lockdown is over. Whereas with the detached market and for some of the larger houses, I am expecting a slight decrease. But if you wanna know uh, my full real estate predictions for this year, 2021, then watch this video here. And if you found this video informative, then please consider subscribing, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon beside it so you can be notified when there's new videos. I release new videos every couple of weeks talking about the real estate market and finance. And if you're a real estate agent watching this video, and if you'd like to consider a brokerage switch and join me here at eXp to partner, then call me, call me, call me. Uh, my number is 416-671-5218. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time.